of all those who have gone and have been willing to fight and bleed and sacrifice for this great nation. That is what the Freedom Celebration Ride is about. We know unequivocally that this gift that we live in, this, this free air that we breathe in, the ability to hop on these iron horses and ride all around this beautiful country in South Dakota, it wouldn't have happened if there wasn't a group of Americans back you know, in the late 1700s, it said, hey, we're not going to put up with this bull that this English king is putting down on us. We're going to stand up. We're going to fight against it. And that great leader, George Washington, who everybody questioned what he was doing. There are people that said there's no way we can win. He led us to victory. And it became the birth of this great nation we live in, the United States of America. I will never ever, as long as I hold breath in these lungs, apologize for the greatness of the United States of America. Our National Guardsmen are out there taking the fight time and time again. And, uh, our Coast Guardsmen, we got any Coast Guardsmen out there? I know they're out there. And then our, of course, our uh, Merchant Marines. I know that we have some of our amazing Gold Star family members. Debbie Lee is over here. She's representing for her amazing son, Mark Lee, one of the first SEALs killed in the Iraq war. We got the uh, Indian crew that's out here today with our wounded warriors. They rode across and got here to Sturgis, and I know they've been doing some great rides. A big shout out to them. his final breath for every one of you for the freedoms that we have in America and we can make the choice today to say we want to be behind these veteran organizations we want to stand for our veterans we want to stand for the families of the fallen 